here I am chilling in the uh, Datsun Z seats again. Uh, like I said, I need to make more videos, so here's another one. We're going to be going over the Rocky a little bit. I uh, went on an adventure on it, uh, like a test off-road trip to see how it does, uh, to find more issues and to potentially break it. Uh, and I did all three of those. And of course, I didn't take any videos because I'm an idiot. Uh, here's some pictures. But, um, either way, let's go ahead and uh, go over the Rocky. And of course, the junk pile. So I haven't gotten rid of the motorcycle yet. There's a gentleman who was uh, supposed to pick it up uh, and leave me a deposit first and hasn't. So we'll see about that. Oh, and I didn't show you, but underneath this tarp is another thing that unfortunately I need to get rid of, but is interesting. <laughs> Not, uh, you know, you don't see too many folks with it. It's a commercial three-group uh, Simonelli espresso machine. That, uh, I used to be the general manager of a little tiny coffee shop here, and that is the espresso machine out of the shop. And as you can see, I just, I don't have the room for it anymore. It used to be stashed kind of behind where those boxes were on the ground. And after three years, I never used it. But either way, so here's the deal with the Rocky. First off... Many more squeaks and uh, stuff like that. I definitely feel like, and I haven't, I haven't even checked it out yet, but I definitely feel like something. I was hoping it was like a, a um, sway bar bushing was out or something, but something sounded like it was clicking around up here. Something heavy duty metal. So I'm gonna have to be uh, on the lookout for what that could be. Ugh. Ugh. Look at that rust. Ick. There's a little bit, uh, I don't know if you can see it there. It's a little bit right here in the floorboard as well. And of course it leaks just about everything. Haven't done the uh, differentials yet, either of them. But uh, yeah, we've got... Uh, We've got some new leaks. Feels like both of these are coolant. Uh, and that, uh, that holds up because during the trip, not only was I leaking coolant, I'm kind of hoping that it was this here, but no, that's, that's too tinny. Whatever was knocking around up front is a lot heavier than that. Maybe this, nope, that's solid. Anyway, um, I'm leaking coolant. Uh, from, I believe, here, so this little uh, fitting here that this radiator hose goes into and then goes into the back of the engine, I believe that gasket or seal, whatever's right there, um, is leaking, so I'm going to have to take a look at that. Also, I noticed the other day that that stud has broken off. Um, but I'm pretty sure my last Rockies was like that too, and it doesn't seem to hurt anything. Uh, also, it was sputtering a little bit after it got warm, and I'm kind of wondering, one, it could be the uh, the coil pack right there. Um, I'll take a look and see if I can get new one of those. And then, oh, look at that. Let's see if I can show you. Uh, I noticed, see that vacuum line's off. See if I can get it back on there. Excuse my greasy fingernail. Well, yeah, it doesn't matter. I need to replace it anyway. So, vacuum line, I noticed, uh, was kind of iffy during the trip. These two in particular that go into that guy there. Um, and sure enough, one popped off before the trip home. Uh, so, hopefully that's our kind of lack of power issue. Uh, and then the worst thing was... It overheated. Uh, not too bad. I, of course, pulled over and I was watching that gauge like a hawk. Um, but it did it to us twice on the way back. And uh, unfortunately, it was building pressure in here and just pu pushed all of its coolant out into the overflow tank. And I lost a lot of it out of my little hose here. Um, so that's an issue to take a look at. Uh, I don't know the condition of the water pump, you know, how well it's working, but I kind of, you know, I'm sure it's still doing all right. What I need to do is something that's a huge pain, if you can't tell just by how hard it is to even see, 
uh, but there's a hose that I'm touching right here and the uh, the thermostat is tucked way back where the tip of my fingers are so I'm probably gonna want to do a thermostat on it you know a cheap cheap fix oh I don't know if I told you but the alternator uh, wasn't charging the battery I had a spare tested it it tested good replaced it that's good to go now uh, so that got fixed but we still have some other issues uh, and then additionally additionally something back here was also squeaking up a storm like a high-pitched chirp I don't know I just heard something wiggling it so what I'm probably gonna have to do is uh, wow those are in really good shape normally bump stops are not must have been replaced uh, anywho so something and it sounded like it was on this side we do have some nasty rust there I don't know almost sounded like it could have been like bodywork even but something something was squeaking back here um, other than that I do also need to take there we go all this junk out of the ashtray because it was just rattling up a storm that was a bit annoying so she got hot uh, but other than that did great it did great. I didn't end up even needing to uh, put it in four-wheel drive. The four-wheel drive does work, but I didn't end up needing to use it. Um, it just, uh, everything I put it up against, it just went right up and over. So, we've got some stuff to figure out with the Rocky. Um, I don't know. There's a lot of stuff under here that uh, needs some uh, refreshing. In fact, I think I just found something wrapped with electrical tape that's not supposed to be, so... Definitely we've got some stuff to do. Um, that fuel filter there looks pretty recent, but I'm probably gonna be doing stuff like uh, the vacuum hoses, spark plugs. Um, I'm gonna take a look at the coil. It looks to be in pretty good shape. Uh, and then I've gotta track down some more of these noises. Um, I got rid of some of them. Uh, it needs front brakes. Uh, and then, uh, what was another noise? Oh, the a common thing for these Rockies, apparently, because it's happened to both of mine now, is the... Um, the exhaust rattles on the transmission cross member. Uh, so I shoved a bit of a piece of uh, really thick black rubber underneath there that I'm sure is going to eventually start smoking if it hasn't already. Um, but that's how I solved it on the last one, just zip tied a piece of rubber in place and it fixed it for this one. It got rid of uh, an atrocious noise. Uh, yeah, goodness. I think in this video again, just by showing you some nifty stuff, I've got this really cool Coleman steel belted 54 cooler. I love this thing uh, as well as an old military cot. Uh, I don't know what to do with that military dealy bob. Ooh, that's a nice chair as well. Uh, it's Hollywood Chairs brand, which they're not in business anymore. Super comfortable chair um, and it's got a lot of cool features on it too. Uh, however, every event I've taken it to, I've been way too high up. Everybody else is like in their normal um, portable chairs or folding chairs. Uh, that thing, I'm like two feet above everybody else. It kind of makes me uncomfortable. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Let's see. Somebody buy my stupid foldy backpack. So those both fold into like chairs. They're metal framed backpacks, but the frame is not for your cargo. It's for a little stupid seat. Uh, frankly, I'm, I'm tired of having them. Uh, also, though, speaking of seats, these blue porta seat things are really neat. I bought them both for ten dollars. I was trying to get fifty bucks out of them um, each because they retail for uh, like one hundred and seventy-five new, something like that. Hasn't happened, uh, and they're kind of a bitch to ship. But uh, I am gonna have to figure something out because um, again, I'm not using them. Still have all the uh, monitors and uh, televisions and stuff. Goodness, what else? Oh, you know what? Uh, let me show you a couple other things real quick. So I'll make it quick here, but uh, I've got the just picked up this really cool Sony Boombox Mega Bass. I can't remember the oh CFD 470. I was about to say I can't remember the model number, but there it is. I haven't cleaned it or tested it yet. I don't have the AC power cable, gosh darn it! So I'm gonna have to test it with batteries. That's frustrating. But I also wanted to show you this cool thing. Let alone I got a stack of excellent records. So check it out. 
This is my little uh, photo box. It's from a MGA um, old console television. See? Uh, but I turned it into a photo box, and it's pretty neat. I like it. And inside it is a Schatz 1000-day clock. Um, it's really a beautiful clock. Unfortunately, as you can see there, it's got a little bit of, like, gunk or something. Uh, let's see if we can fix that. Yeah, so it's got a little bit of, like, gunk or something on some of the brass. Needs some cleaning. And then the other bummer is it does not work at the moment. Um, it uh, needs a repair. There's some parts in here. Uh, so, yeah. Well, anyway, thanks for watching. And, uh, ooh, got some stuff on me. Uh, see you in the next video. Like I said, I'm going to be trying to keep these frequent.